Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kiara. This is Leah. This is Solo. You're listening to He Said, We Said. We are back for the first time in a minute. First time in the month of September. We had two birthdays. Yes. Two birthdays. Yours truly. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Virgo season. It's over. It's It's over. Good riddance. Hold on. I'm so sorry. When did this start? (laughs) Now I'm trolling. (laughs) I just sent you that thing. I never got the impression that people didn't like Virgo. I honestly thought it was Gemini, Scorpios, and one of those other random ones. I think we talked about this very like little, like right before Virgo season started. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is a recent thing. Like all of a sudden people just recently just started hating Virgos. And I think it's it's on the and annoying it's factor towards the male. Okay, well we can get Actually, to that. Y'all love like Beyonce. I, no, I feel like I mostly am hearing it from women. I don't ever hear anything what about Virgo about? men, but also I didn't know that there was a Virgo thing until this year, and so I've been maybe because it's been like brought to my attention. I'm like, oh, okay, think, I'm seeing a lot of this talk. I feel like this year I have heard so much about astrology yeah. and like the signs and all that, so I think it's heightened. And so now it's like, okay, I do hate those Virgos. Like, that's what I feel uh-huh. like it happens every now, recently, every year or something. But um, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan they of it. Yeah. Virgos groove and started hating. They, huh? I think it was before, think, but I it think feels that heightened is a long this time year. For Virgo to be hating. Is it? It's, it's just one. At that point, it was Leo. What you mean? Leo season when the album dropped, no? I like Leo's. I'm saying that's the sign right before Virgo. Maybe I'm not paying attention to other signs, but I just feel like boys hated Gemini's just for them being crazy. But this just felt like, it just felt like a lot of personal attacks. Well, with Gemini's, I never feel like anybody ever says, get you a Gemini. <laughs> right? I don't think right? I, I, like, think I've I never heard get you anything. Her, baby, I that I dated. I have, what do you hear of get you one? I never hear of get you an ex. No, I mean, I think I hear a lot about when it comes to the good signs, right? Okay. <laughs> I feel like Aquariuses get off easy. You know, I think a lot okay. of people think Aquariuses are good friends. Yeah. <laughs> Good friends. You know, I, I never haven't just thought feel about. Like, oh, Aquari- I never just hear Aquarius slander. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the slanders will come from Scorpio. They'll come from Gemini. Okay. Um, sometimes I was well. Recently, I've been seeing the Cancer um, slander. I thought it was Even like they're cancers, just immer- just emotional. Like- was that Kanye? Is Kanye a Cancer? You're Gemini. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Are they come close on, on the spectrum? Uh, uh, but I don't know because I, I just thought that cancers were just super the emotional people. Mm-hmm. I, I thought that I really was don't Pisces. Hear much about Sagittarius. Oh, maybe I'm Pisces confusing Pisces and Pan- bad rap, but Pisces, Pisces men. Oh. I'd be hearing about some Pisces men. Okay, all right. I, do. I don't know if I know that many. Astrologist, but yeah, I don't think there's a, a man I've sign been, that I stay away from outside of Virgo. Good. I don't have one that I stay away from. I randomly happen to always date Pisces men. <laughs> Pisces that's men nice. or Leos. That's compatibility? I'm very compatible with Leos. No, Pisces. I'm talking about Pisces men that you always I date. mean, Not compatible with them. They just, I mean, I don't really subscribe to the horoscope stuff or astrology, mm. but two things can be true. Y'all can't have some characteristics that Someone. seem to be similar. Mm. With that being said, you don't need to explain this 36 shit. Wait. Explain what? Oh, this I explained shit. to him the 36. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, she explained okay. nothing. I told you it's really hard for me to articulate. Like, but every uh, time. So it's like uh, every person where there's been some trouble, they've been 30. I was like, okay, we have to back this that. up because you brought that so out of left you, field. You brought so, that. Well, because we were that. talking about the, the signs, right? And the, <laughs> you know, the common traits and things like that. And then it made me think about, well, they were saying 36, we're all grouped in this. It's just negative, something about negative. 36. Y'all, I have this theory that men, when they turn 36, I don't know what it is, but some stuff just be off. Maybe the chakras <laughs> need a little realignment. So that's what you say when you can't explain it, but it's something. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I can't articulate it. I said that. I know it that. when I see it. 
It always happens to me. I'm like, man, this guy's tripping. Da, 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 da. How old is he? 36. But she said you agreed with it. So that's so why this is what happened. This is explain it that because well. we had we had a conversation and it was just like, OK, we're thinking about different men like, oh, OK, which how how mm-hmm. old would you go? Right. How much older would yeah. you go? Um, and then so I forget what age we were talking about, maybe like up to 40 or something like, oh, I might be pushing it. But but then 36 year olds is something about them. Now, when she initially told me this, I was like, mm, I don't know. You can't say that the next day, the next day, that was 36. No, 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 no. <laughs> Somebody who was tripping <laughs> was 36. I forget. Basically, I have not had a conversation with this man on the phone, barely through text. Um Cole calls me. Unfortunately, yes, I did say. Uh, you picked Cole. it up. I picked it up because. Wasn't even what? looking for no job. So why'd you really pick it up is the question. Because people at my job still have my work number. Okay. So thought it was work. All right. I thought it was related to work. So I'm answering him. I'm like, hey, or I probably said like, hello. Um, and he was like, hey, what's up? I was like, who is this? <laughs> and uh, he drops his government name. I only know him as his other name. Mm-hmm. And it sounds very familiar. It sounds like my job name. So I'm like, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> like, um, and so like he ends up saying it. And then we get into this like long conversation about needing a compromise and 50, 50 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> like, we just, Loki, we Sound really like have not met. Crisis. Look, all I know is a lot of expectations. Y'all was talking about compromising. <laughs> The Not expect- even a, the hey, how you doing? It's been out. a while. I missed you. No, we were like, what do we need to do to make <laughs> this work? <laughs> right? And what, is it, what time this, of day is this? Is it two in the like afternoon? Six, no. I mean, I mean, it was six. Like, it was something like that. I was busy. Okay, so this is late. me. Right. It wasn't super late. It wasn't like lunch. It wasn't like 10 a.m. or but something. But from there, you deduce that, oh, 36. <laughs> no, no, no. What happened was I'm explaining the situation back and Kiera was like, now how old is he? <laughs> I had to go back and look and I was like, oh my God, guess. <laughs> like, so that is the, I don't know, man. Maybe that it's a, I've dated enough 36 from. year olds where I know firsthand. Maybe it's hey. the age where they start thinking like, hey, it's it's this or that. Like, I got to, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they put a lot of pressure on themselves. Like, this is my year. I'm also being facetious. Okay, obviously not all 36-year-olds are like this, but I will say. <laughs> the, this ain't the only. I've heard some other friends. This Talk would be the first one that I paid. T- this No, this will, actually, if I think about it. <laughs> actually, if I think about it, <laughs> this would be the second. <laughs> This will be the second for the smoke. Mm. Mm. This fire. I don't know. So look out. So when I said that, Kira was like, "I need to warn Solomon." <laughs> Solomon, whatever you're doing, stop it. Stop. Don't like, lose I ain't doing the nothing. one you got. Whatever you're doing, don't. just stop it. Stop it because you're gonna want to. Because you freshen it, right? You're gonna want to do you some dirt it. or whatever the fuck. What? What just, is it? You're gonna want to do the 36 year old thing. Maybe think about it like you said, midlife crisis type behavior. Project but she couldn't tell else. me what the behavior was. I was like, I, I, I'm trying to understand. All I'm getting is just bad karma or bad just energy pay attention or to the bad energy. You're going to be bad. Pay attention. No, 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 no. I don't think you'll have a problem. I just got to put it out there, though, so you okay. can be cautious. Be wary. <laughs> don't all change. That, all that. Well, you know, someone that should probably change <laughs> and be very wary yes. is Ime. Oh, do joke, oh, good, y'all. Thank Doga. you, thank you. It the fact that though, I was right? like, hmm. <laughs> that E may be throwing me off because I'd be like, I mean, in my energy, or I'd just be one of. The, <laughs> I see E me, and I'd be like, that's something that people, you know, that the young kids made a new slogan. You oh, know? like an like on God, oh. OMG. I'd be like, I am E. What the. I, I'd be oh. like, oh, okay, E may we go. E may okay. okay. Well, e may got to be short for something. Well, um, possibly. But it looks like he has been caught up in a scandal that I can't quite understand comprehend, what is going understand on. all that other stuff. Right. To my knowledge, he had an inappropriate relationship with a staff of the Boston Celtics. Mm-hmm. And that has caused him to face somebody who somebody works, that for works for the There's multiple women, yeah. right? 
Well, we, somebody is the wife. We don't know exactly what the truth is. We haven't had any confirmation aside from the fact that he had an inappropriate relationship with at least one person mm-hmm. in the organization. How she's tied to the organization, that's still kind of up in the air. So this man is engaged to Nia Long. They've been engaged for seven plus years. They have a 10 year old son together. Um, If you guys don't know, the Celtics were in the finals last year or the last basketball season. So it's not like this is just some Joe Mm -hmm. Blow team. Like this is kind of a big deal. But I guess the question is, why was he suspended? Why is this news? Mm -hmm. And what's really going on? So I feel like what I heard was this information was leaked out by the Celtics because they let him go, right? Or because they suspended him or something like that. So in this case, it makes me think, was the, was this the one with the rumor about the VP yeah. or somebody high up? Mm-hmm. Like he was doing something he was with their wife? wife. So that makes that seem a little bit more credible at this point because there are a lot of inner office relationships. And I can only imagine on a professional sports team, they have very similar things going on too. So it's not like, this doesn't feel like one in a million kind of things. Like, mm-hmm. dang, this sounds wild. Like, yeah. mm, it feels personal. Yeah. I mean, the way I look at it, it's like, why? Why are you doing this now? The season's about to start. What do you have to gain from this, right? I feel like when things get leaked out, it's because somebody wanted them to get leaked out, right? If you're doing these heinous acts and things, why didn't they let you go? Why are they keeping you? What is the motive here, right? Like, I feel I thought, like if no. you're doing the most, if you're fucking somebody's wife, the VP's wife, I feel like you should be gone. Now, let me say Like, this. I would want you fired because, like, you're fucking my wife. I but, have a source oh. from the NBA, and they said that that is not true, that they did not. Anyways, it, it's bad, but allegedly... That's not it. Now, you know, I, this is just from my one source. We we don't know. We'll see. But it's something to get on. one year worth of a suspension, right? They're trying to, sus- well, they suspended him for one mm-hmm. year and it may be indefinitely, really. They're just trying to figure out what to do. I think at this point, they're trying to do damage control on the media. Whatever the fuck is going on, I feel like there's some serious, something crazy and serious Cover happened. Up. No, not necessarily cover up. Well, somebody's covering up. I think it's the Boston Celtics, but I think that whoever leaked this leaked it because when they, whenever they handled it internally, mm-hmm. they didn't appreciate what the fuck was done. Maybe. You don't hire an investigative team and I preface it with I have no experience in what goes on behind closed doors in the NBA, but you hire an investigative team to look into what the fuck is going on. If it was consensual, why are you hiring somebody? If it was non-consensual, maybe. Mm. But either or, you hire this team, you have your findings, you bring it to this person. So what do you do? You got to either punish this person or you got to let them go, right? But when you punish them or let them go, I feel like you do not disclose exactly what happened. You're just saying this person got fired or this person got suspended for violation of team rules. That's it. You ain't got to leak out a statement to the media. Violation of team rules, period. We're going to stand on that as an organization. That's going to be it. So there's a reason. The motherfucker didn't like that. Who didn't? Who are you saying? Whoever leaked the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. If it's not the VP's wife, then there wasn't a VP involved. But somebody got the short end of the stick and didn't like the way that they were going to reprimand Udoku. And they just leaked it out. So then Uh maybe it wasn't consensual? You think? I don't know. I I hmm. literally don't know. I mean, because I guess there is, depending on... It's coming from the woman. Well, I don't... I don't know. This is all speculation, right? But I guess there is a power dynamic at play depending on the woman's position in the organization. This is the head coach of the Boston Celtics, right? So, you I'm know, the maybe it w- he's the head coach. <laughs> so he to the finals last year. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if this was consensual, that's one thing. But like, depending on her position and if she's getting raises, yeah. So um, I don't, I don't know. I don't quite understand it. 
that's because there hasn't been much detail. It's like they're saying a lot of stuff. Without There's saying a lot anything. of articles, but nothing has been confirmed. And if anything has been said, it's been retracted or it's been, oh, that's not necessarily true. Um, the person that, that he got involved with, was it the VP's wife? Was it the person in personal, you know, people relations or whatever the fuck Something the only person yeah the, i was gonna say the, it's the like, only person they have confirmed is the travel person whoever it manages the, the team's yeah, travel it really confirmed but then uh, i think for me all in all because i really don't care about basketball like that i do however admire nia long like i think she's one of my favorite like actresses of that era and so it's just like, dang, I don't know what she knew prior to us finding out. She said nothing. She probably didn't know a damn thing. And that's for gone, me. Gone, I'm yeah. just like away from the team. That so makes me long, sick to I my can't stomach. Time yeah. You every day, baby. I've been living yeah. in LA or wherever the hell she's been living Boston. in. You want me to move to Boston? Boston. Yeah. Boston. I I love you. You're my boo. Whatever. And this is what you want to do. Fine. We, we'll move to Boston. And you've Wait. been doing this, which tells me this may not be the first time. Yeah. This may not be the first time. She probably, it's like, I don't want to speculate, but I mean, it's been if, he, if he has been, been together 10 years, if he is cheating like this to the point, like he's fraternizing with people that are in the organization and it's kind of reckless and or whatever. Harassing. Like oh, whatever, as a married man, whatever though, that's women. why it's for me. It's just like, this just may be what he does. This just may be what he does. And now they're putting it out there. They got like this open relationship and no. he was okay with I don't know. I don't know. A word on the street says that they were not together, that they were like doing their separate thing. They were together for the the uh, image, but not. No, I can't I even think say maybe that. They just weren't like, you mean like at the time that all yes, of this was like, happening? That like, they, they were, were not together. Allegedly, again, you know, what about what is my but, source? But, know? But here's the know. thing: I guess the whole the whole point of this is is Nia Long, well, he so it's going to get more but, traction than normal. But you know what? And maybe this is me not understanding media. Nia could have said we were on a break. Well, but, I mean, she don't even have the facts. Have even bought that. She has the facts. You think now? You don't think. Like if any time she know I need that to come clean to my know. wife, it is now. No, 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 no. The time you should have came clean to <laughs> no, 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 no. was when it was under investigation. But what he I'm saying knew, is that that's, this, that's at, what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. This. I'm saying at this point in time, now you I lay had it out, to have basically. Come clean. Mia better know everything by this you, point. You would think. You would hope one can dream. They do the whole fucking investigation on you. Like I should. She probably knows what's going on. Like Mia don't know people, or probably doesn't know people. She been in this game how long? She been in Hollywood. She ain't been in the NBA. No, no, no. Hollywood and NBA. I feel. I feel like Hollywood and sports has enough overlap that if Nia in '97 to now, she gonna... knows people. Maybe so. I don't know. I just feel bad for the whole situation. I could not. I could not so imagine. Wait, so you think, of course, that's who we are. What you think, Nia, my friend? But I feel like it's just <laughs> common sense. I feel like. If you're involved in that circle and that level of celebrity and popularity, like you know, people okay, in the NBA, you you know people that can. You but know what does that in do? The, though? You know people in the. She has the full script. So you're that. saying, so you think regardless she of everything. her husband or her her man telling her or not, she knows what's happened. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> Damn, I forgot the point that I was really trying to make here, but. I'm saying that. I thought you were trying to say that he should have told her now. I thought that was a point. Like if no, I'm trying to say that because she's knee along and because if she would have gotten wind or some type of a uh, heads up about something that's going on, you know that she is knee along and she has the resources to find out exactly what the fuck happened. But clearly he must think that she. I know fucking Will Smith. OK. Will Smith has the resources to be able to dig up whatever the fuck Will dirt Smith is, is going not on. Really so being either Udoku, right now, so. no, 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 no. I'm but saying, like, I'm know saying she knows people. Either Udoku, you come clean. At this point, you okay, have no okay. choice but to come clean. If we go by that same logic, or you know, though, I got why the would he even? Why would he even cheat on her? If we're going by the same logic that she was going to find out anyway. So now you're you have to be assuming that they have an open relationship because she's knee along. Why would Nia he cheat on knee Because um, because he I don't ain't know. shit. Maybe. Because <laughs> people cheat on beautiful people all the time. They, yeah, pe they cheat on people that aren't beautiful, smart people. Cheating. 
What? Exactly. That is but the, the truth. problem I have with Udoku is why are you harassing people? You know I mean? We don't know if that's true or not. That what I I ain't never seen nobody get fucking suspended for just cheating. Well, and people cheat all the time at the workplace. Me, all the time. Let me say That's this to another this. another source. You did is something. saying that they had three options. They could either have been fired, they could have retired, or they had the option to be suspended. And he chose suspension. Suspended. My, Allegedly. Uh, and my thing is, they don't necessarily know if the suspension is going to be temporary or permanent. Well, it's but at least for the, the season, right? Fire me. Fire me. Well, say that then. But I feel like if you get <laughs> fired, the story's going to come out anyway. So are you going to get fired and the story come out anyway? Or are you going to Because you can't retire story after come out having anyway that kind of season. There. Look, I don't One have the, the answer. One of the greatest head coach seasons of all time. You said what? One of the greatest rookie head coach seasons. Oh, it was his oh, first huh. time being a coach. I didn't know that. First season. So that time. makes now it even worse. So now, now you can't even. So now it actually kind of does make a little bit of sense. Now and that is his first time. And I'm just thinking on like a higher up. Thing. The organization leader. It's like, like you he, just like, got here and you can't be. No, 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 you no, can't no, no, control he yourself. Boston. He was with Boston before this year. I feel like this shit might be stemming before this season. So well, what do you mean he was with Boston? He was at, another he was like an another level. But he wasn't the head coach. But who's to say he wasn't doing what he was doing then? I'm sure he was, but I now, don't feel like he the became fact, head coach. It was like, all right, time to get freaky. I don't know, man. We don't know. It seems like whoever this, I don't know. It seems, it seems a little deeper. So one on, on the one hand, maybe there is some level of harassment, some level of power dynamic that he, he, I guess showed, but at the same time, I'm still questioning the people who leaked it. This was his first year, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm questioning the head, head people. I feel like things are gonna eventually come out. We say out. that, and then there's, yeah, and then it yeah. takes a while. We I still mean, don't know. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. And I commend the Boston Celtics for being able to muddy this up and make it unclear and murky, and have us not knowing what the fuck has been said, even though a lot has been said. Shout out to that media team. Somebody's just gonna feed the right information with the right sources to the right outlet. Well, here's the thing. Back to Nia Long being connected, right? Mm -hmm. I think if it were me and this was my fiance, my child's father, et cetera, and I didn't have any intention on leaving, mm -hmm. y'all don't need to put nothing out. Let the people speculate what happened. I know what happened, right? But the media does not need to know because now when I have my next movie that I'm doing, which I think is like best men, whatever, aren't they doing one of them or something? Something like that. Um, you know, next movie I have to do a press tour for. I don't want y'all to be asking me about my situation, right? So I can definitely have my PR team like dead any kind of questions like that, but also like just let it die out because now if I plan on staying and y'all know that he did X, Y, and Z and X, Y, and Z, now I'm looking even crazier. So people are already trying to say she looks crazy for staying engaged for that long. So, so he is the motherfucker. Yes, you look crazy. You look fucking crazy. People I gonna talk whatever. She gonna make whatever decision. She I haven't even made. been in yeah. a relationship for seven years, and you've been engaged for seven. Look, what she got a lot more. Like, no, she, she's no, like double no, your age. No, no. Well, maybe not double. <laughs> maybe not double. Sorry. <laughs> she got a. I she don't got, know. She got about twenty years on you. Probably. She got a lot going on. Okay. Ask any woman if they would be engaged for seven years. You will not get one yes. I think you will some, not get one yes. I think some women, if they already are hesitant about and marriage, by the nigga, like stop. stop. So what? Some people feel like What's we already yeah, we but may, but maybe that's the maybe that's what it is. Maybe I mean again, I hate speculating, but if this man is a cheater, habitual cheater, which. I would not be surprised, unfortunately. She was probably like, you're not what, ready. You're not ready yet. Yeah, but I feel, and, and this is why it hurts, right? For the black community. Black women yeah, specifically. Think you about don't deserve that, but we thought you would at least say, fuck that. I'm not sticking around for no bullshit like this. I, we don't know if that's true, right? But I'm just saying, think you about love all this man. Think about all the women beyond it being black women. A lot of women will stay in a situation for a lot of different reasons, right? If this never came out, we would have thought that they had the the most 
cutest little situation, right? Whenever Over the finals whoever. was happening just a few months ago, people were talking about Nia showing up for her man. Like, yeah. You know, Giddy, excited. and maybe they were together then, maybe they weren't. But from the outside looking in, it looks like that they were strong, right? Wasn't questioning the seven year engagement then. I didn't know about it. Well, <laughs> I thought they were married. I, I thought, thought they, they were married. married. Come on, well, <laughs> ten year old son. Good I yeah, I too married. thought that they were married, but it's like boy, that's you learned something the when point. the come out. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Who knew? People Who are knew? not, it doesn't matter how beautiful you are, how famous you are, whatever. No one is above cheating and getting cheated on and staying, right? No, no like it just not. happens. It just happens. So we can't be mad at her or say that she should have done this and should have done that. We got people, never mind. We got, we know people that wouldn't do, that would have done the same thing. Basically. Right. <laughs> Did y'all see the Congress? With Liz. The Congress? Mm. Getting Liz. I'm just saying. Which Congress? Yeah. Man. Jamal Brown. Yes. I saw that tweet in real time and I was like, why did he do this? What happened? <laughs> he was like Jamal, where he where he, he served? He was really he sent out this tweet really advocating showing love to the beautiful black woman. Me and Long. We love you. We stand by you. It was a little extra. Somebody would be dumb to cheat on you. I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. but like that kind of thing. But it was kind of weird. It was a bit cringy and it's like don't you got people uh, to serve? Women. Don't you? you got a mm -mm. And you got a wife. We found wife. Man, and drug her mother. into it. He 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 mm. said, "Dear Twitter, I don't need to shoot shots. I'm good, homie." JB. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, why? Why? I don't, don't drag know. me into this now. Why, why did you tweet it to begin with? Mind your business. You know what? I did see a lot of people saying you would be crazy to cheat on me along before I knew what they were talking mm -hmm. about. And I was like, hmm, okay, that's weird. Why do we, like, what are y'all talking about? Yeah. But you would just be crazy to cheat. Y'all are so annoying. Then anyway. when they thought it was that one chick, people were like, I understand, bro. And it's just she like. not finer than me alone. Well, I'm not. I was like, this. I was like, this. I was like, man, <laughs> all right. I was like, man, you fucked her. Cool. You may have fucked her on some. Uh, well, she, who? And like, she did come out and say that she is not the woman but at this hand. This is who you're harassing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're Stop. harassing her. That she said that she was not involved. Well, I'm saying it at the time. Right. The time. Yeah. Like, Ain't no way I'm going to People just be putting 20 on 10. And I saw something that was like, see, this is how colorism works. And it's just like, because <laughs> mm, the girl mm, is like, you know, she's, she's light skinned. She has, you know, <laughs> she, light skin fine dark hair. Skin. She is not better looking than me. Mm. I'm you can just love you some Nia. Let me not tear down. Please don't, because she's a pretty girl she's too. Girl. Let's just leave it at the Worthy at the of, level. You, know, you don't have to cheat on your fiance. That's right. it. And you know what? Damn it! If you're gonna do it, which you should. Oh. But if you're gonna do it. Let it be Halloween. Let it be separate. No, why are no. you doing that work? I, now you, you cheated <laughs> and you done lost your job. <laughs> You cheated and now where's our income? But ain't nobody Mind ever lost. Mind you, ever take more movies. <laughs> but ain't nobody so ever, ain't kid. nobody ever lost a job over cheating, huh? This what? guy has. So which is why I think it's more than cheating. What? Which is why, oh, oh, oh. at yeah. the end of the day, look now you ain't like for him. The, Let's just say it. Let's not <laughs> act like the the most common person that you're about to cheat on your spouse with is with a coworker. The numbers show that. We know I'm that not, that is a thing. I, that is exactly, a thing. But Absolutely. I'm not in support of it. But I'm also, not in support of it neither. Also, I'm saying I it's think not you, cringy behavior. You but have to have more self-control if you are a public figure. Like, yes, that is true. You have to know true. that people are watching you. Yes. You are Nia Long's. You, you are Nia Long's man. You're head coach. And you are the head coach of the Boston Celtics. Come it on. It'd be one thing if we didn't know he was in a relationship, but like it was well publicized. Like that's Nia Long. So, and then something about they caught him on a ring door camera bell. With a oh, I don't know nothing Not about that. I didn't hear that. Uh, Y'all better stop talking in front of these doors. Okay, but at the same time, for something to get to the level of being suspended, what what happened? Because none of this is. We follow the story. We will follow the story. Hopefully, we don't hear more for the sake of Nia Long. <laughs> I, I support whatever decision you decide to do. This was a long conversation. We're going to move on to another cheater, Adam Levine. Uh -huh. This love has taken his hold. On. There we go. Right, he to, may need to know. see the booty. <laughs> I was like, that huh? was so funny I to me. Like, 
I mean, you know, the first thing I thought is, what do that room really look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm but like, wait, hey, you know, is, is it a fat have to tell me what happened, or is this trying to be kinky? <laughs> I think he was just trying to be kinky. Adam <laughs> Levine of Maroon 5. I, I don't know. But basically, he was caught out there. Um, there was a woman who pretty much just showcased various DMs that she has in exchange with Adam, um, who is married and has children with his wife. Um, at one point he asked this woman, Hey, I'm thinking of naming our son Sumner, which is, her name is Summer. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he's Wait. Just, yeah. The girl that he's cheating on his wife with his name Summer and he's thinking of name his girl. child. And he was like, is that weird or whatever? No, I'm going to say this. As someone who's been dating men for a while, <laughs> I know that sometimes men just be saying anything just to get your attention. He probably had no intent of naming his child Summer. Just needed a reason to holler at the girl again. It had been a couple of months. That is a lot. It's the hey you up kind of text or, That's you know. more than that, though. Like, you're going out of your way to say something. To Honestly, you. if I would have gotten that out of the blue, that might be reason to block. What are we talking about? What is this? Because he's just weird. And I think he's just an old man, too. So it's just yeah. like mm, your your lingo is a little. Uh, no, thank just you. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah. So um, he kind of denied it a little bit. He was like, well, you know, I did have inappropriate conversations with her. But, you know, this was in a time where my wife and I were da -da -da -da, something. Sure. And then a few other women came by and was just like, oh, actually, you've been DMing me, too. Um, mm. So I don't know if he said anything about those other women that have come out. But it sounds to me that Adam is good for having inappropriate conversations with women in general. Like, you can't even say that you meant something else when you say I may need to see the booty <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> yeah there's really no interpretation otherwise like, yeah it's like F booty. F F holy ish whoa 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 like all those extra what? like sir I was like this is turning who <laughs> who's being turned on by that but um, oh my gosh I wish yeah. I could see so Andrew Schultz made a he was like making a joke of all of this again. I had no idea what we were talking about. Um, and I, so I'm just looking at the jokes like, why would he be exchanging messages with Adam Levine? <laughs> like next, <laughs> like, what are we talking about? <laughs> that reminds so, me, I have a video for y'all uh, in relation to this. I'll show later, but okay. yes. But no, this, even listening to y'all say some of this, I'm like, oh my God, I just be looking at jokes on the internet, have no context. That people well, ain't sometimes I look at the joke. Stuff. Yeah, I look at the joke. I'm like, who tweeted that? Am I supposed to understand? No. Uh. Right. So I hadn't seen much from Andrew Schultz in a minute. I'm like, hmm, this must be something on the show. Yeah, <laughs> this must be something I'm really. Idiot. I think I, I saw that too. Was he like in the bed? Yeah, it's like yeah. he was in the bed. I was yeah. like, I don't naked. get this. People and have been photoshopping their picture where Adam was like, f f, like fuck, 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 you know. Right, like being responsive to their picture. Right. Yeah. It's, it's clearly photoshopped though. Like he didn't even try to make it look yeah. like it was. <laughs> um, but I was just like, you know, I. I used to really love Andrew Schultz. I did, but too. there was a lot of jokes that was just like, "Well, I'm not even gonna look into that." It just yeah. went over my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, so I thought it was that. <laughs> it was a lot of good content. I will give that, but I yes. mean, I, I don't think the wife is going anywhere. So hey, there's that. Um, a, a little bit of a quickie for you guys: the baby name drop, Meg the Stallion. Um. And also kind of outed Tory Lanez as well um, by saying that he slept with Meg the day before Tory shot her. Mm -hmm. So he said he waited to put it out on a different album for whatever reason, maybe. I don't know. But are y'all impressed? <laughs> what? Am I even moved? Why? I heard that and was like, why did I even need to know this? Like, why now? Like. What for what reason? I don't also, even know what's happening. He's just lame. He's just so lame. He's you know, I hate that for him too. I do because yeah. I do or I did like a lot of his music, but then when all that stuff started coming out with him, like he did all the stuff in Walmart, I don't know. The it random was always something. The kids, yeah. like <laughs> it was something. The baby mamas and yeah. the back and forth. It was just a lot going on. And I feel like his music didn't immediately take a hit, but it 
it's slowed down a lot. So I don't know if that was maybe artists stopped doing stuff with him or just kind of like pulled away from him. I don't know. But I can't even tell you his most recent song. And now this thing with Meg comes out from, what did that happen? Three years ago? Two? When she got shot? Yeah. Yeah, Two or three. It was 2020, I guess. Was it 2020? Damn, and we still don't know what what's gonna happen that's what i was gonna say when you said we're gonna follow it i'm like man we still waiting to see what really yeah. happened that night too we yeah. still don't know who was in the car with terry and shay what you mean listen you know what that is and something that is on my mind quick, no he didn't i'm still the thing is what's so funny about that if you look on some of his stuff every once in a while it's like that's good terrence but who was in the car no, seriously <laughs> like but who was it seriously shout out um, to that nda yeah, well, um, last thing we have Erica Banks. She says basically you got to be fine to go to the club with her. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think about that? And this is in relation to her friends, not men. So she's saying that no skinny girls allowed. You got to be thick, but the right kind of thick, I'm right? Say, uh, only women. Only. I'm not even going to let you get away with that, but um, only y'all pick. Friends based upon physical attractiveness. Um, I think not saying all of y'all. No, 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 no. I think people in that, general I, I are know, guilty of that. I know plenty of men who certain industry try to seek out women as friends that they are low key attracted to, and just you women. know, women seek out friends. No, no, men. No, I'm saying it. I think it's Whoa. a people thing. I think it's a people thing. Women. I think she, some people. Uh-huh. Like how you are saying women will do that with friends. I think there are some men who, do who will see a pretty woman that they're somewhat attracted to and try to befriend them. And maybe, oh, maybe shit. things. This is like a, uh, this isn't just a male with male friends, female with female friends. You're talking about cross pollinating the friends, right? <laughs> sure. I, I think, mean, I don't, so- I don't, I don't. Oh shit. That's a. That's a lot. But if we take this in the said. context of what she's saying, though, mm-hmm. a lot like of context. people that one go to the club care about sections care about getting free stuff at the clubs and all of that stuff those are those they those kind of people that value stuff like that mm-hmm. they will make sure that they're always at the club with that certain type and, of look and i and i'll be honest in her defense and i didn't hear the quote but it sounds like she just said if you're going to the club with her you need to be fine didn't say if you're going to be my friend you need to be fine or i don't i think that it was in that context though like her her Uh, friends not necessarily yes in the club but the reason i think it kind of sparked debate is like dang you can't be friends with people either or that's what i thought i've heard of that before not to mention you do see women and then you see their friends it's like damn like i've never and let's 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 look at it this way if i were to choose my male friends right Mm -hmm. I don't think what would be the equivalency. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not what? choosing men the based equivalent? on how fine they are, or how tall they are, or how you, much money they have. Some men, men do pick, though. Men pick they, men the way absolutely. on the energy that they exude, or the way that they absolutely. dress, like or the way. Long. If we can no, love, if, no, if no, we no, can no. kick it and hang and have a good time, yeah, women, women, my friend. I think of, yeah. the way that I've never picked women, a friend yes. based on how because I think the women going to see that nigga. Because that's no. not what you value. Right. But for some yeah. men who are in nigga. certain positions, exactly. they want their friends to also be in said positions. They don't want no friends. You got a man who's an attorney. And you know maybe he's no. Part- I can't be friends with the bum. No, CEOs and if I think you're a bum, it's not only. It's not by. It's not by um, so a blanket like statement. Status. You gotta have that. Status. But I think if for you, some people in general, status, they are going do. to seek what they value. And if for them they value having a group of friends that are successful entrepreneurs or whatever that is, right? Yeah. And, you know, those same men also value the type of woman that's standing next to them. And, you know, you can't just have any kind of woman. Like, I do think that there are certain people that seek out different things when it, when they look for friendships. Even when you think about yourself when you're younger, right? Like, with a lot of, well, I won't say a lot, but there were some people when I'm like five or six years old, I like your shoes. Your shoes sparkle up. Maybe that's how I started she talking. She doesn't that's even how we became friends. like our shoes. She doesn't even know what, she doesn't, she never has sparkles on her shoes. We don't want to be friends with her. Like, you very know? materialistic things. So like, it's very realistic to think that one, yeah. people like Erica Banks do this all the time. And two, men do it too. Like I said, I can only speak from my experiences. I would hate it if somebody wasn't friends with me because of this. They probably, you probably haven't noticed. 
I, you ain't <laughs> noticed somebody ain't test you back in a. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Okay. Sometimes I'm uh, kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. Let's go back to. Well, I don't know. Col- uh, College Solomon. Oh, you He's know. He's on campus. I don't know. No! You know like, like, I said, <laughs> like I said, I've always hung out with people that I felt like it was a good time hanging out with them. Um, it was never about are we on the same footing financially or, you know, do we have the same, you know, status and things like that. But I feel like because the male side is very predicated on what you have and, you know, it's superficial in that sense. You know, how much money you have, how many assets you have. Da, 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 da. I feel like if you're looking for friends, you'd want the tangible shit, the shit with substance like that's it. Oil, that's what you care like about. That. Yeah. But some people are just like, why do I need that in a, in a friend when I can have that in a man? Because or it's, a woman. Well, yeah. Mm. But people have the whole birds of a feather kind of like, thing yeah. and don't yeah. want to mess up. They flock I think in, their, in their mind. Men too. Like in the club, I'm sure there's some men that are just like, if my friends can't afford some bottle service in the club, then they don't. They you can't come. Well, 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 my, my thing is this. You better <laughs> add something to the group. So whether if Here you're the is. nigga that got the money, <laughs> then you're the nigga that got the money. If you're the nigga that, okay, uh, he's the socialite. He'd be pulling motherfuckers, you know, then you'd be pulling motherfuckers. But you have to add something to these. <laughs> but this is this is within the context of we're going out. All right. We're going out. Uh-huh. Prove our point. But that's why I was trying to shoot her some bail when I said, well, she wasn't talking about her friends. But you said in the context she was talking about. You know what? And she probably felt like she was being uplifting a bit because I've seen conversations of women along the lines of like they actually seek out friends that they don't think are conventionally attractive because they want to be the person to get all Mm -hmm. the the men or whatever. So maybe in her mind, she's like, forget that. The girls with me, they're going to be bad too, but you got to be bad. That's the difference. Ain't no if, ands, or whatever in between. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Eh. All right. Like she ain't the first. She's not the first. But then you wonder what about uh, going on trips and don't come back as well. What? Then you wonder why you go on the trips and don't come back as friends. Because Erica <laughs> Banks says you got to be fine to go to the club with her. I'm guessing you got to be fine to go to Mykonos with her, to Prague with her. You got to be fine to do any of that shit. And if it's predicated on looks, <laughs> but wait, if we that's why y'all be fighting and getting into it on them trips and come back like I ain't talked to her since we went to motherfucking uh <laughs> why would that be the case? Uh, Mykonos, yeah. If I brought you Mykonos. there, if I, I thought it was Mykonos, I don't know. <laughs> Is Mykonos? Yes. Oh, okay. But but if she brought them there, she thought they were attractive. So you're saying they went to the trip. No, I'm saying attractiveness is cool, but you know, at least I got to get along with you. Oh, you saying they went there and you only brought me because I was cute, be- but you don't really like me. You that okay. yes, thank you. That I was see. that was the I whole see. point. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to move gonna on to our that. verses today. <laughs> um, basically, the question originally stems from a, a prompt that we saw online. If your bae or spouse doesn't know how to cook, is that a deal breaker in your relationship? But we kind of want to expand it a bit and also focus in on things that we are not necessarily doing in our romantic relationships, but we maybe wouldn't hesitate to do it when we become like married. Yeah. Hmm. So is there anything? That's kind of tough. So the first question is the... If the person doesn't know how to cook. Is that a deal breaker? For me, absolutely not. Um, I just feel like that would be so like, I am not a chef. Mm -hmm. I am not uh, the girl that in the garden. Yes. So I can't I can't ever say like, oh, that would be a deal breaker. I mean, that just means we're going to be out the recipe book. That's all. (laughs) That's all that means. And unless you are one of the men that feel like you don't have to cook. Now, that might be a deal breaker. Um, Yeah, that's a that's a good point right there. Like if you think that it is actually my job to learn (laughs) and get it together because you don't ever want to uh, take turns, whatever, whatever, um, then that would be a deal breaker. But as far as that, I I don't think so. I I wouldn't make that a deal breaker. Um, Dang, as far as something that I wouldn't do. Um, with with a significant other or boyfriend 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's I can't hard. think of anything either. I because mean, obviously this stems from women who feel like they don't need to be cooking for a man that's not their husband or feel like they need to get mm-hmm. um, wifey privileges. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's necessarily a thing hmm. for me. Actually, I can think of one. Um, I probably would not make a large financial purchase mm. or investment mm-hmm. oh, unless yeah, yeah, they yeah, were my without saying. Yeah, husband. I'm not about to Well, I guess maybe it doesn't go no without saying. <laughs> I'm not about to put on I'm not about to put down on a house and we're not together. Yeah. Yeah. You would? Or the Okay, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I thought that was understood too. Oh, I you look like you was no, no, no. I'm just thinking of answers. I mean, I don't think we had to say this. I'm not putting but, down on no house. Just I'm not putting it. down on no car. What about going into a business with? <laughs> I'm not going into a business a with a boyfriend. Or, a boyfriend. You, you no. better be business savvy like a motherfucker. No, like I you, mean. This better be your shit. We're not about would... to try to figure this shit out daily <laughs> together. You know, like yes. you well, better we... be the businesswoman with a business plan to come to me and say, hey, this is the business plan. I just need you to invest. I need you to invest. And you're and investing in your girlfriend. Like I said, the business plan better be a mother. That's good, though. But I'm not doing that with my man. What's uh, Jordan's man's name? But there is a cap. Jordan. Um, Jordan, Jordan Wood. Jordan Wood. Yeah. Uh, Tristan. <laughs> no. what's the guy's name Stop Kyle it. something Kyle. like that he is investing she has a couple ideas or something like that now look when you when we talking about rich I'm folks yeah. that's I mean, a, one a, thing a few investments here and there yes yeah, cool but I'm not about to do anything that's going to really put me at a financial risk to to your point I would be okay doing it if one we probably had whatever kind of relationship beforehand and I knew whatever it is that they brought to the business Mm. so very very simple example i don't know they really like making cupcakes and i really like making cookies or some shit like Mm. that and we decided to like this is this is the thing Mm. um potentially maybe i would now we can get the llc but you can't get the ring what's going on i don't know no but if we for me if we had that relationship prior to like being together i would feel confident that we could figure out how to kind of separate that stuff out. I don't think that I would be with somebody and be like, man, what do you think we could do? And like start building from there. Mm -hmm. It It would have to be something that we had already, we had already kind of been thinking about going in together, maybe as friends and maybe the relationship stuff kind of happened in between that. That would have to, that would be the caveat. Like I wouldn't dismiss it completely. But I wouldn't be just like building like, oh my God, we could do this. Like not yeah, not I couldn't figure it out with yeah. uh, uh, That's uh, a good point. Boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not doing that, but I respect it. That's great. Maybe that's why I'm still <laughs> single. Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Solomon no. is the only um, one. <laughs> I would definitely not make it a deal breaker, but man, it would like I mean, it would hold some weight to a certain degree, right? If your woman couldn't cook? Like, when we say couldn't cook, she don't cook shit. Dang, that's tough for me. The gender roles. Well, I mean, I'm not big, big, big on gender roles, but I do feel like there are some things that will pop up and present itself in which it's like, all right, either you do it as the man or I do it as the woman. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you have to, but it's like one of those things where it's like, okay. I think for women, for me, like, if... You had to pick between the gender roles. I really don't care too much about cooking. I mean, cleaning. Like, I feel like we both can clean, clean, mm-hmm. clean, clean whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Get the kids to clean. Blah, blah, blah. It's either cooking <laughs> or doing the kids' hair. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm not saying you better, but I would prefer one be like your, your thing that you can do. So she does the cooking, you do the hair. No, I'm saying either you, you really gotta, know how to cook you gotta or have one you of really skills. know how to do the hair. <laughs> like, if you're telling me that you can't cook and you can't do the hair, it's like... <laughs> but you love her. Well, You better order gotta take be, out. Maybe you can brush well, up your Like skills. I said, there's got to be those things that I really, really love about her that make up for not being Damn. able to do one or two. Can you learn how to do some hair? Do you know how and, to do hair? Well, that's, that's like me saying, can you learn how to... Uh, can you learn how to move some furniture into a fucking apartment? Can you no, learn how to I put think together the two are shit? not Yes, aligned. yes, yes. Can you, you learn how to do hair. the shit on the you, car? We all have hair. We've all got cars. 
Do we all got all furniture? Have cars? And yes, we do. It's not a gender specific thing that a male is the only person that has a car that can drive a car. So what are what are you saying? That what the I'm woman saying needs to know you better know how no, to do No, so no, 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 say, no, no. I didn't say better. I hope that you know <laughs> how to do either the hair or the dishes. I mean not, not the dishes. <laughs> the hair or the food. The hair, no, or the hair and the food. It sounds no. Like. I didn't say the hair and. I said either. <laughs> you one. gotta know how to do. So one. I'm saying if she's a cook, then you can learn how to do the hair. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice. Hopefully, you learn how to do the hair. Period. And cook. Period. <laughs> exactly. So, are you gonna do the car shit? Are you gonna build? We're gonna shit? hire somebody are to do the car all, stuff. Oh, what now depends? We're hire somebody. Because that's it a professional. Depends. But I'm pretty sure you want me to take the car down there to get the oil change or get the maintenance not because you don't want them trying to pull anything Someone over on you because you're a woman. Let's not. You always what? do this. That isn't a concern I've for been women. I'm going to get my little oil change for however long. From who? Goes. From who? What do you mean? The Nissan dealer. What are we talking? Oh, you go to the dealer? Yes. Oh, that's a lot. I need a nigga that going. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I need I need my mechanic. No, we're okay, not gonna you, be sending you an arm like and a leg. I'm about to force a man, so you're not gonna take my car to do like There's I some can. women that do that. Well, I'm sure they that think there that are. that is the man shit. Not saying or I agree with it, but I'm saying there are that men there that are feel women. like they'll take that responsibility off of her plan. Not necessarily women like you need no, to go no. and not me. All I was saying is that there are some women that do not want to do that because they feel like they will be taken advantage of because. They are a woman trying to get car maintenance. What I prefer, so they think for it's better for a man to do rent. that. I would love that, but does that mean that 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 has to happen? Excuse me, no. I've okay, so you're my- saying what I'm saying with the cooking and the uh, the hair? No, I you, think you the, really no, are. I you, think the difference. Would I like that? Would no. I like that? Yes, but I don't no, have to no, have I that necessarily no, in no, order. No, 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 no. You need to make it seem like a. No, like, it needs to be one. Yes, she did. I prefer either or. Yes, she did, but it's not a deal breaker. I said that. I said it's not a deal breaker. Oh, it's I was not just, a deal breaker. Let's run the tape back. We always because. go back. To it, bro. We we we, we <laughs> so really. Man, at the end of the day, I don't think there's anything wrong if you want her to know how to cook and know how to do hair, and that's the sole responsibility that she has in the house. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. It's your prerogative. But what I am saying though, I don't think that your example in the example of hair specifically when your child is hair the same versus car maintenance Go, first off and then we're not even doing it you're not even saying versus you doing the oil change or me you're saying driving the car up there and, and <laughs> no, 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 be, 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 no, no, you because, take your car to get no, 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 are That's you taking the trash out or am I taking the trash out? Who who takes it out now? <laughs> who takes it out now? Me. Exactly. Who takes it out now? I take out But when trash. I get with you and we move in together, who you expect to take the trash? No, it's not an expect. I don't that's not Stop. on my list though. That's not, that's that's not on my not, list though. You, 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 don't, you don't smell the trash? I, I, come on, stop. I think the it's difference not on is my list for, of like well, for me at least. Or. And I'm sure for all of us, right? You have your strengths and you have your weaknesses, right? And you guys get together and you figure out, okay, if I do most of the cooking, which I don't mind, maybe you do most of the cleaning. All right. If I do this, you do that. That's how I like to model my relationships. For some people, it's just like, no, what are traditional gender roles for the woman and the man? And we stick to that. And that's that. And if that's what you want, that's fine. So, so, so let's just say we're on a tight budget. Who's cutting the grass? (sighs) Now we ain't got twenty dollars to get the gas come mask on. No, we don't. Everybody ain't got twenty dollars to get the gas. <laughs> Everybody does not have a landscaping we, person. We, we might who need, cutting, who we is cutting, need to talk to. Who's cutting the grass? No, we need to figure this out because why don't we have twenty dollars? I don't know. Everybody doesn't have money for landscape. No, we in a two income household. Oh, why don't we have, <laughs> I'm just saying. Why don't we have twenty dollars? I feel to like cut the grass? you all want to trivialize what it is that you expect me to do because you know what? We can just pay for that. But I feel like us paying for a chef is too much or us paying for somebody to do the hair would be too I much. I know you are not comparing. <laughs> Especially cutting the one who cuts. You no, cut. no, no, no. Yeah. But, but, but what I'm <laughs> what? saying, what I'm saying is we don't have the money for a landscaping service. Huh. Who does that responsibility <laughs> fall on? Let me ask you, when was the last time you all cut a damn piece of grass? Probably 2009. Hey. Oh, so you have. I have cut grass I before. Can, I can tell you I've never. That's all I'm saying. What's, but what are you saying? But my grass get cut? 
What, are you what, what I'm saying is, I ain't never had aside a from that having the luxury grass. of having money to negate some of these responsibilities, if we didn't have that, you would still expect the man to do certain things. Not saying that it'll be a deal breaker because I can't cut the grass. <sighs> Expectations and wants are, I think, a little different. So for me, because I never answered the question, is it a deal breaker if my man does not know how to cook or doesn't cook? No, it's not a deal breaker. However... I would like somebody that knows how to cook. And it's not necessarily that they're a chef, but like, I think at this point in life, in our thirties, you should have at least two to three solid meals that you know how to put together, that you're not going to burn. Like there's just certain (laughs) basics. (laughs) There's just certain (laughs) basic things that I do think that you should know. And if you don't have that, I'm not going to end things, but like, I might question why you thought it was a good idea to put meat on the skillet and not put any kind of coating on it. Like Mm. no butter, no oil, no nothing. Like why did this this isn't a nonstick pan, like you know. You don't no, know. It's just like me saying, we gotta cut the grass, baby. Why do you keep doing this? Baby, we gotta cut. Why? So the grass, you gonna, has, the grass has to be cut. Okay, so okay. basically, what you're saying is, you actually want a woman that knows how to cut the grass. No, I don't. I'm not saying I want what a woman that knows how making? to cut grass. The point that we're making. Please tell us. <laughs> the point that we're, we're making is that there are certain roles that. We're just like, okay, it's not a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying that the cooking and the doing the hair is one of those deal breakers that I'm like, okay, I can live with it and we can get around with it. So it's not a deal breaker. But for you, though, the shit that I'm like explaining, like, okay, this male thing that you expect us to do. Oh, we'll just pay. We'll just pay. But it's not a male thing. I don't think it's a male thing. I don't think it's a male thing. Only for the landscaping is when I said we can pay. For the oil and the maintenance, you were saying you were just going to be the one driving the car. Well, so, we, what, what, but, but here's the thing with that. Y'all are acting as if women don't get taken advantage when it comes to maintenance on a vehicle. Can we at least acknowledge that that is a thing? I understand what it you're saying, Solomon, but I think we're- Can we at least not acknowledge that there are women, single women, that will have their daddy take the fucking car to the goddamn mechanic to get an oil change? Okay, what's your point? Mm-hmm. How often do you I'm have saying, to put oil well, in well, your that, car? That's a reason for, you know, a man, You some women expect the men to do that for them. I think for me, because where I'm coming from- Because there's a problem- I think Um, a lot of what we're talking about are just things that need to be done in general, right? And I personally don't necessarily see it as a man thing, woman thing, right? So landscaping, car maintenance, um, I don't know, things needed for the house, right? Like typically you're going to outsource that. Like that's a service that you can pay for, right? I understand that, but we're talking about our own personal experiences, right? And so me and me getting the second level of income coming in as well, we can afford $20 every two weeks to but cut the grass we can see, we see, can do that once I, a week y'all are, so for the stuff that we do there don't hasn't pay been for, that one thing that you all have said that i guess been expect y'all to be responsible for that we can't outsource but the way you all negate the shit that wait supposedly what? i guess gender role based with the men we can outsource i think things that you don't have to do every day you can absolutely outsource right but you gotta eat a couple times a day you're gonna have to clean pretty regularly the kids hair is gonna have to be done every day those everyday things some people are able to afford that uh service also being taken care of but i think for the vast majority we're cool outsourcing the car maintenance and the landscaping and then whatever other random thing may come up but like things that are done every day we're figuring who's doing that does that make sense no, it's not, <laughs> so it's not apples and oranges to you no, i gave not. the one example of the trash no. it's these are things that are mandatory that must be done by everybody and indiv- you're right you did give us the trash thing and there's still people that say no nigga you take the trash out okay now when they really couldn't tell me why they can't take the trash out I've I've taken the trash out. That's why I've I'm taken the like, trash if out. If you live by yourself, yes, you are. Well, but I've taken the trash out. So why it changes? Let me, changes let me give you this: men. you live somewhere where but, you have but, to but, take wait, the trash out. But let's not, let's not act like y'all don't know those people though. We're let's not, not act that like we no, no. But y'all are acting like y'all don't. We're talking about our own. Oh, yeah. I've taken the trash out. Yes. You one person has. Let's not act like you don't have friends, multiple friends. That that is the opinion. Our experience. I thought that's what we were doing. You keep bringing in these hypothetical what ifs and stuff. I'm I'm bringing my experiences 
vicariously through some people. So that means that okay, some of the, So you're speaking for the unheard. You're speaking, <laughs> no, yes, the because they don't have a microphone. You so yes, I got to speak for them all. and to them. Yes, <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. That's you can't forget them. Okay. But are you saying that there have been women in your past that have been like, Solomon, the trash is honestly waiting on you. What's up? It like, stinks. I can smell like, it. Yes. Take it yes, out. Yes, 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 and yes. Well, yes, I'm sorry yes, that that happened yes, to you. Seems yes, like it didn't last. And and I'm pretty sure you Looks know like those it didn't women last. too. Where they at now? Okay, that doesn't necessarily <laughs> negate the fact that it just happened, just because it didn't work. Okay. And trust me, we didn't break over over the trash, which you is sure? what, which goes back you to sure? what, which goes yes. I don't know. Yes, she which go wait wait wait, wait. which wait, wait, no no wait, no no which goes back to the original question. No, it's not a deal breaker. The trash now. Sorry. The y'all trash y'all are arguing with me. Y'all yeah, arguing with me. Like I said, yes, it is a deal breaker. I said it's know not. I really feel about either way. You about to cook or you gonna do them baby's hair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The Lord no, allowed no, us no. to cut his mic off. The mic is off. Now, All right. Now we're gonna stop. Now we're gonna stop. We are. Because because I specifically said that yes, that is my preference. No, it is not a deal breaker. You're arguing with me. Like I said, you better know how to do this. I wish any I women that I have been with will vouch and say that no, he's not. Hmm. Doesn't mean he wouldn't prefer it, but no, I've never been dumped. But you never, you've I've never, never been dumped or girl. broken up because look, baby, you just can't cook <laughs> and you can't do hair. So what good are you? I've never had to have that conversation with any woman that I've dated. So please don't make me seem like I'm this male chauvinistic, we're just, misogynist we're just nigga that wants her in the kitchen and in the laundry room. I don't know. When your veins start popping out on neck, when you say it's not a deal breaker, I don't know if I can believe you. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Okay, Solo Hulk has entered the chat. <laughs> See, we just, just need kidding. to get a, we just need a we said we said um, <laughs> y'all don't never have a difference of opinion it's just y'all that's not true us, yeah that's not true that's, not, that's, that's not true okay but what's the name of the show us and him <laughs> us versus him well, well you know what the people can let us know do we need to be a little lighter on Solomon are we a little too tough what do you think I feel like you I feel like you hold your own very well I do too Solomon I don't think that there has ever been a time it's been like yeah <laughs> what not reservations oh y'all made me uh, yeah, yeah. But let's think about this change behavior that we probably have caused like it seems like you've been making bitter. reservations right I mean I will make a reservation if it calls for it yes it but I, I am more, mind. but I, I, I am aware of it now. It. I, don't I am think, aware of it I don't now. Think you know, hate it. I am aware of it now. I am aware this. that. Well, you know what? A, a broken clock is right twice a day. What? <laughs> no, okay. I'm just saying. I'm just, <laughs> One of us well, I was, I was trying to be nice and make it that we were the five, broken right? clock. Oh, that's what y'all were saying? Tell me, you've been right a lot. <laughs> just two times out of the. No, I'm hours. saying Lee and I are the broken clock. I said you are right. You be right sometimes. I said you be right a lot. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay, you know you what? Trying to get oh, now no, you trying no, to get no, 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 no. Let's not act like let's not act like this versus didn't having, just happen. No, we've been having some times where we be so wrong, loud <laughs> and, and wrong. Be, yes, and Solomon be right, like balance. What was that one thing? It was love and love and basketball. basketball. Is like, top of my mind. I'm, I'm still, still mad about that. No, because in the fourth quarter she was at the game. I was like. I want to say four. And then John four. looked it up and we was like, John, how are you? Yeah, and they didn't yeah. want to give it to me. <laughs> Boy, y'all was really fighting. We was me loud on that. and wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for listening. If you liked what you heard, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Like us on YouTube. Leave us some comments. Tell us your feedback. What do you think? Um, happy fall. And happy fall. You know, I wanted to talk to you about that. Me? Weather hasn't broken yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to tell people, yeah, it's going to break. Uh, because last time it broke during your birthday week or now, even the week after. But what I will say is, I don't week. know what happened. It was slightly, very slightly cool on my birthday. And after that, it just went up 10 degrees. It's hot as I've F. seen 100 on my 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 car. Yeah. yeah. So, but, you know, listen to the weather, man. It's supposed to be cool in the next couple of days. Cold front is coming. Allegedly. Cold front, we still mean in, in the late 80s. But, I need it. you know, I need it's coming. It.
It was coming. But no, that week around my birthday, it was cooler in the morning. It was like high 60s in the morning. But then it, it got up. And then and this, after this that, dude it was on the hot. ground. <laughs> it was hot. Anyway, my bad, y'all. All right, Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.